Welcome, YouTubers. This is Johnny Ice Boy. I'm quite the guy. I'm going to get you high just by telling you why. Yes, I am the lion. I'm not the lion. I'm not crying. I'm not sighing. But I'm here to tell you that the Father is absolutely with us, right? The Father is absolutely with us, with us. He's absolutely talking to us. And how is this so? He's He wants us to know our time. He wants us to know our rhyme, right? And I want to talk to you about this day, this day right? This day is a very important day. Lots of things have been going down this week. And I didn't, even, I wasn't even planning on giving this podcast. But the Father puts it on my heart and He makes me look at something. I'm listening to the news. And I want to show you something that is <laughs> greater than going to the zoo. Okay? Are you ready to learn? Are you, are you ready to be... Be one to be one with me, cause listen to me, right? Listen to listen to what I have to say today, because we've had this plane crash, and this plane crash happens on today. And what is today? Today's February. February is the second month. So we take the second month, we take two, and we add that to nine. What do we have? We have a, we have nine and two is eleven, which is two again, and then we add two to two, and that's four, and then we add two. To two, uh, we have four to two again. That's six. And then, what do we have next? We have four. We're going to add six to four, and we have ten, which is one. Now let me show you this. The latitude of this plane crash is at twenty-six. My birthday is the twenty-six. The latitude of this plane crash is twenty-six, which is eight plus eight, which is sixteen. Which is which? Which basically adds up to one, right? Because that's sixteen, right? What's sixteen? Seven, seven, and then three is ten, which is one, right? So we have the time. We have this day being a one day, and then we have the latitude being one as well. The Father wants us all to be one. We stand up. We put our arms out. We're all crosses. We are all crosses. And all of our spines intersect and become one at the center of this earth. Okay? This is what the Father wants me to say to you. This is this is the message of the night. Because when we look at this plane crash, right? The plane crash absolutely is at 12 degrees, 15 minutes, Cancer. That's the ascendant. Okay? That conjuncts my Mercury. That conjuncts my Mercury, folks. And it also conjuncts the na the sun. It also conjuncts the USA's, the United States of America's natal sun of July the 4th. It's 12 degrees, right? That's where the sun is. The, now, to make this go further, we have to know that what is going on in the world today is what we predicted back when I did the video about Uranus and Jupiter in Taurus with the conjunction because it's all going to be very similar to what we had back in 1940 when they did it but back then Pluto was in a completely different place Pluto is Aquarius this year it's a completely different year but this the only thing that's similar we have this these two monster planets Uranus is four times larger than the earth and Jupiter is all planets put together two and a half times that's what Jupiter is he's huge right it's massive and it's all travel. Nine is a Jupiter. Nine is a Jupiter number, right? If you look at this, right? Three fifteen, three fifteen, three and one is four plus five is nine. That's another Jupiter number. Okay, that is the Jupiter number. Now look at this. We have a special. The Father has absolutely been talking to me. He wants me to share this with you. He wants you to know that my heart is being massaged by the Father's light, right? So ever so gentle, he keeps me together, right? Despite all my stress, despite all my woe that I've had in my life, the Father is still talking to me. He's still keeping me, you know, alive and sharing me, sharing with me these videos of other individuals. Because this, this, video right here to Tuckle, Tuck, um, that anonymous official released today is from Tucker and it's all about you know keeping our dignity 
I'm going to show you my dignity right now. We're going to show you what we need to know, okay? And, but most importantly, we're going to talk about who is telling the truth and who's not, right? Because this is the year, right? It's it's such a significant year. We don't we don't even realize. We don't even know the history. Because what did Putin do? Putin enriched Tucker's life, but we all know it. Putin enriched Tucker Tucker's interview with history. Okay, so let's talk about history. Because as we said before, in my podcast, in my playlist about Uranus and Jupiter in Taurus. Our, this year, 2024, is very similar to the 1940 date. And lots of things happen. And the, the year is very similar, right? It's very similar. But what we have to know about, what we... Because Tucker's, Tucker's calling the ball, right? He's called the ball, and I'm going to match him in the sky. I'm going to match him in the sky right now, okay? That's why I'm Johnny Ice Spy. Because I couldn't help it. Here I am. I'm looking at what's going on. And I remember about this year, I remember the kind of events that were happening um, day for day this year, right? Because these two years are very similar years. But this is the beautiful thing about it, because the Father is absolutely letting us talk, right? The Father is absolutely letting our freedom of speech work, right? Because here, Tucker has never seen my channel. An anonymous official has never seen my channel. Maybe YouTube's to see my channel. I don't know who's. I don't know who's out there. I'm not running a. I'm not running a very aggressive YouTube channel right now, but the father is being very aggressive with me, and he wants you to know that he is talking through me. And the reason why is because when we scroll through these dates, there's the three stooges. The three stooges are who? <laughs> three stooges are. Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, right? Now look at this. Look at this, guys. When we go through the February month, because we're in this February month now, right? When we cross over through here, we have to look at what? We have to look at February 7th. And what is February 7th? February 7th is when Pinocchio is released, marking Walt Disney's second feature-length film. How many films have we shot since then? I mean, look at it. It's not that many years. Now look, this is the important part. Because it goes back to this video right here. He says the strongest people are the ones to tell the truth. And who is, po who is Pinocchio? Pinocchio is someone who can't, he can't lie. If he lies, his nose is going to grow, right? So the question is, this year, the strongest will be the truthful, and the liars will be sitting in hell, right? And unfortunately, I mean, when we have to look at here, because we scroll through here, we have to look at the stuff that's happening as Uranus and Jupiter decide to do their conjunction, right? Because we can see all the stuff that's coming up here. You know, Nazi armies attacked the Netherlands. We have all the stuff that's going on. And all this is forecasted for this conjunction coming up very close. I mean, I mean the conjunction happens pretty much... At the, I mean, the conjunction happens like April 21st, right? I think that's when the conjunction happens. I don't... I will ha you will have to go back in the other uh, playlist and know what day, exact day. Um... But it's in this time period, that's when the conjunction's actually happening. And the whole year is about this conjunction. And Jupiter's running into Gem Gemini as before. But this this April time, this latter April time, is what we have to be prepared for, right? Because the difference between the difference between nineteen forty in 2024 is there was a lot less planes dropping out of the sky but most importantly Pluto Pluto in 1940 Pluto in 1940 was not an Aquarius right that high frequency planet in the sign of disruption that god of death 
in the in the sign of disruption, and to see what he to see what this gentleman is doing, right? This Tucker Carlson guy. We know his chart. He's a his chart is on my most recent play, my most recent video uploaded, and it this this all fits together because of his interview happening, his interview happening on February seventh, right? I mean, this is what we're looking at here. You know, look, there's, there's cute old Pinocchio. There's Pinocchio. Who, who, who's going to look, which politician's going to look the most like Pinocchio by the end of the year? You know, this is, this is, these are facts. How, how can we straighten our lives up? But yeah, here we are, folks, February 7th, Pinocchio is released, right? This is the day, as you all know, Tucker and Putin sat down and, you know, had a day, had some time telling stories to each other, right? So let's all find out. We will all be able to know because we know that history, the cycles of history repeat themselves. But this cycle is similar to the 2040, but it is a colder one because of Pluto's transit through Aquarius. Because Aquarius, he, I mean, you have to think where he was 84 years ago, right? So, folks, I just want to bring this to you. I mean, this is um, a very true thing. If you look at the plane crash and everything, you see that, I mean, Mars is just coming outside. This conjunction with Pluto only happens. And this is right, this plane crash is happening right on the new moon, right? 18 degrees, two hours, three hours later, it's the new moon. I mean, it's that darkest point. You know, the moon's crawling, you know, doing its thing with the Earth and the sun. And Pisces... <laughs> Saturn and Pisces with borders being dissolved. Holy cow, right? Look, Saturn's even at seven. You know, it's even... Saturn is absolutely in this house of Jupiter for this crash, eh? It's absolutely hilarious. And then here's Jupiter and Uranus in this. Here's Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. The house of Venus in with an Aquarius overlap. And that's what this new moon's illuminating. This new moon's illuminating this whole entire... Uranus, this whole entire Uranus uh, and Jupiter influence in this 11th house of this crash, right? Look, guys, Jupiter and Uranus are going to catch up. We have two months to go. There's going to be this new moon, the next new moon, and, and then, then there's the third chapter, the three stooges, right? Here's the facts, goes. Here's the facts, guys. I mean, you've been great. I hope you got something out of the podcast, and um, I didn't want to keep it too long, but the uh, everything lines right up with this. Um, it's craziness. Um, I think there was actually five people in on the plane. Um, it's it's a time, folks. I mean, it's 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 a year long trend, and the kickoff of this whole entire year. I mean, because the year's getting into motion, getting into its motion and um, momentum. I'm seeing that the year's getting into its momentum. And uh, when we look at this, we look at this, it's absolutely, it's absolutely phenomenal what's happening here. Because uh, Jupiter will cruise by Uranus and run into, Ge uh, run into Gemini, right? And it's a whole entire different world, right? Holy cow. Um... Jupiter hasn't been Gemini in a dozen years, and it's um, if you are a Gemini ascendant, it's it's a, like a, a a super birthday, right? <laughs> Holy cow! And then uh, then we have Uranus crossing over Gemini in two years to come, right? And that is just going to be something else. I mean, change is on the horizon here for the Gemini ascendants, but the thing is, this whole tart dragon year, dragon is. Swatting the planes out of the sky, right? You can read through the whole entire year, folks. And remember, the only difference between 2040 and two, uh, you know, 1940, the only difference between 1940 and 2024 is this Pluto guy being in Aquarius, okay? We can't forget this. It's a whole entire different chart. You can go back and look at my Jupiter and Uranus uh, forecast, but... It is playing out. It is absolutely playing out. And Pluto is absolutely in that sign of disruption. I'll talk to you soon. And all the best to you. Once again, I hope you got something 
good uh, and enlightening out of this podcast. Adios.